All right, guys, we just pulled up here. We are at one of my rental properties. This is 1075 Grenoble. This one is turning over. So we had our guys come out, paint it, clean it. I'm out here just to confirm that it looks good before we start marketing this thing for rent again. Uh, let's go inside and just take a quick tour so you guys can see what this looks like and then we'll go over the numbers uh, after this video. Let's go take a look. So what we have here is a three bedroom, one bath home. When you walk in, you immediately enter into the family room. We got standard uh, gray walls, white trim, floors are redone. This particular property has newer vinyl windows, which is awesome. We also have some vinyl flooring in the kitchen with some pretty stock cabinets and countertops. We left the vent in the wall just because it didn't make sense to take it out. Put in some appliances, painted it. Here's our kitchen. It's actually kind of spacious and our family room's right off to the left right there. So we can go this way and there's a hallway and this leads to our bedrooms and our bathrooms and it actually connects back to the family room. So this is a nice little house. Here would be bedroom number one. I would imagine this is gonna be our master. This is a big one, we got a fan up on the ceiling. Gray walls, white trim, sanded, stained, and polyurethane floors. Just looks clean. Bedroom number two, closets over there. And bedroom number three back here. This one's got two windows, just like the one on the other side. And then here's our one full bath. So you can see that the tile in here was uh, the way we bought it. We didn't even mess with it. We left it, cleaned it up. The tub is original as well. However, we did put in these floors, very similar to the kitchen. These are just a little larger. Toilet and vanity look good. We need some light bulbs. There's our mirror. And again, new windows. The windows always make the house look very nice. So that's our three bedroom, one bath rental property. Let's go down into the basement. This one doesn't have a garage, but it does have a carport and there's access to it via this door, which I love. Down here in the basement, we got our plumbing stack right there. It looks good and clean. It's kind of a bad location for it, but it is what it is. The basement down here, we did kind of the opposite. We do the gray floors and then the white walls and it makes it look cleaner. Um, it's a little dark down here, but you can see there's a lot of room. These aren't necessarily bedrooms by any means, but people might put beds down here. None of them would qualify because the windows, there's no egress, but you got a lot of room down in this basement for entertaining, hanging out, putting people whatever there's some storage areas and then back here we have our utility room which is a ton more storage so we have our water heater and our hvac the condenser is out back i checked panel and our hookups for our washer and dryer pretty basic but it's clean down here the walls are white the floors are gray you got all kinds of room for storage entertaining bonus rooms for sleeping you name it all right let's walk around the back let's check out the back we got our carport here backyard is pretty small but it is fenced in and it's got a condenser right over there so this is the house we'll go through the numbers next and uh, talk about how we bought it and how much it rents for and go over kind of the return on investment and whatnot. That is 1075 Grenoble. All right, guys, let's review the numbers on this one. This one was only purchased about 18 years ago. We didn't need to do anything major to the rehab. Uh, we just turned it over. So we spent maybe $400 out of pocket um, after keeping some of the deposit money from the tenant uh, to paint and clean the property. We also did a little landscaping in the back to just clean up some overgrowth. But all in all, this is a great property. We're gonna keep this property. 
Uh, we had it rented for about 18 months, tenant left, uh, did a quick turn, and now we're gonna re-rent this property. So after my walkthrough today, I'm gonna give the property manager a thumbs up, go ahead and start leasing this. We previously had it rented for $950, and at this point, we're gonna raise that rent to $1,000. For a three bedroom, one bath property, that's about a thousand square foot with a carport. This part of the area of town is a great area and we're confident we can get a thousand in rent. So let's take a look at some of the numbers on this project, what we buy it for. Um, I'm just kind of curious. Also, I want to see what it appraised for because it's been a while since I've looked at it. Looks like our total, total purchase price was 64 and change. Initially, we rehabbed this property and spent 83.77. So our all-in cost was about 73 grand on this property. It did recently appraise for 98,000. However, I think that is probably the appraisal when we bought it, yep, back in November uh, 17th of 2018, it appraised for $98,000. So this is a great example of a Burr deal. And I'm certain that we didn't have to leave all that much in it. So let's say 98,000 was our total appraisal and we got an 80% loan. So 78,400, which is what we got a loan for. And we had um, 73,000 all in it. So we were, into, be able to, we were able to get into this deal for none of our own money. So we bought it. We did a light rehab to it. We rented it out. We refinanced and got all of our money back. And it's been about 18 months. We went in, we spent a few hundred dollars cleaning it, uh, painting the property. The tenant uh, doesn't owe us any money. We have a good relationship. She just moved on to a new, a new place with her family. And we're gonna send it over to the property manager so he can now get this property rented again for us. All in all, great property. We're into it for nothing. It's cash flowing when it's rented. Uh, it's currently vacant, but the turnover was easy. It only took us about a week. So now we're going to get this thing rented again. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.